Hi, this is Vincent from EVA Europe. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple battery system of our EV Hype kit. First I'm going to explain you some of the parts we are normally using. Today we have these really nice cathode battery modules. We have some high voltage cabling installed just to show the principle of the battery system. Each battery already has a CAN group module attached. We already made the cabling, we tested it before uh, we ship it out. Um, we have a current sensor, we have a smartphone module and we have the brains of everything, that's the BMS main controller. I'm going to show you the exact connections later on. And we have a battery contactor, that's your main safety, so in case of anything uh, happen, happening with the battery modules, it will cut off the battery power. And we have an AC charger here. So first of all I'm just going to show you the CAN wiring. So each BMS So we have a battery module uh, and each battery module has a CAN group module to it. This is the last CAN module. So here you see the end resistor of the canvas. It's quite important that you install one at both ends of the canvas. It's quite easy to install, you just click it in. These CAN group modules have a nice double connection which is bridged, so it doesn't matter which one you stick into which port. Uh, then the CAN wiring goes to the module of the other battery module and then the CAN wiring goes to the main controller, to the BMS main controller. So to give you some, uh, some overview of the BMS main controller, most important is the programming port, that's the USB connection. You will use it to set up the BMS system and to change the settings first time. Uh, in any case we have already put in all the parameters correctly, so you will only need to set up the system for the first time. We'll explain that in a later movie. So on the PCB we developed, you have several CAN connections which are all bridged. They are just there to make connections easier. You have a main power supply, so the 12 volt is power supply, and we have a 12 volt input pin which we normally connect to 12 volt immediately, but it can control the battery contactor. Here we have a connection for serial connection like, like the Bluetooth or the very cool smartphone module. Here we have some interlocks, uh, those are normally used for interlock contact, so, so like the emergency stop or, or some, some switch you want to have an interlock on. In this example we only connect it to the emergency switch and here on the top we have the uh, connection to the battery contactor. So right now I'm going to start with connecting the canvas. So you see here the CAN group module has a wire uh, with a voltage and a CAN group. So it's quite easy, you just connect the power supply with the black of course being the ground and the red is the 12 volt power supply. Then we have the green one, that's the CAN high and the white one, that's the CAN low. Since we are over here, also going to connect this side of the board. Here you see some output relays. So the outputs here are plus 12 volt. Uh, for example, we are going to use a buzzer. The buzzer will be connected to the heater and O port. So if there's any issue with the batteries, for example, low voltage, high temperature, whatever, uh, the buzzer will give a signal. Last thing we will connect is the power supply. So right now we're going to connect the smartphone 
module. This will give you the possibility to see all the battery parameters in the very nice app that's available on the Play Store or on the Apple Store. I will show you a bit more about that later. So, the green one is the TX, the white one is the RX, and of course you have a power supply as well with black and red. So now I'm gonna connect only the emergency stop. Uh, as I said before, that's connected to the interlock input. What it will do is it will disconnect the minus that goes to the battery contactor. So if anything or if you disconnect the minus it of course it will always disconnect your high voltage power so it's your main safety and that's exactly the same as it is on, in any OEM vehicle. So here you see the battery contactor just to show you we made on this example setup it's just on, a, on, on a one end on the high voltage. It's quite simple to connect it. So the black one you connect to the E minus. And the red one you connect to the NO port. These are double pins, so you can connect two contactors here as well. There's one wire left. We will explain you a bit more about it later, um, but we will connect a blue-white wire on the bed's low output and that's going to give a signal uh, to the EV hype motor so the LED of the logo will start lighting if, there's, uh, if, it, if the, the charging is on. So, now we've set this all, you're ready to get the power on. Again you will see it has some double pins for the, the ground and the chassis. Uh, I'm connecting the plus 12 volt now, so it's already powered, so you will see that the plus or the, the green LED is on. That means the power is connected. If you don't see any LED and you're sure you do have power then most likely this fuse, in here there's a small fuse and this fuse is broken. What we often do is also connect ignition to plus 12 volt so you'll also see LED here. Uh, so that means that the uh, battery contactor has power supply as well. One thing I want to point out is here's a small LED or a small dip switch. Um, dip switch uh, you can put on and then you have a 120 ohm end resistor. These red LEDs here uh, will show if one of the outputs is on. So the red LED doesn't mean there's any error, it will just tell you that there's an output on. So one more thing I need to connect, probably the easiest part of everything. That's the cable that goes to the current sensor, it's a straight connection and you can click it in and that's it.